and doing a full switch route. They oh. do. Oh. <laughs> the cannon support coming in from Smoothie. And we're going to get the Olaf in the jungle rail. More damage, but control ward. Contracts in a good spot to keep this one going. The Resolve tries to get onto Contracts. Right to the wall goes Arrow, but he cannot get the flash over the heel. And he still goes down. Spider is setting up a dive in the bottom. Ooh, they try for the low hook. They're going the anyway. Contracts is coming in. They throw it on the slicing Maelstrom, and that's going to be shady. Getting cut out of the fight right away. Anori just has to watch from the side. Contracts tries to push it in. Right where they're supposed to be strongest. I mean, remember, Arrow was the MVP last split, and he can't get out of lane. Ooh, evasive maneuvers coming in from Arrow, but again, finds himself a little too far forward, going for vision as the team just continues to lose it towards that bottom side of the map. Yeah. If they use the Rift Herald in a lane that has a lot of minions, they're not going to get anything out of it. Ray, though. Oh, Ray going right to the back line. Props to Jensen as well for continuing the command dissonance moves. He still has all that they need it. Uses it there for the kill onto Zig. And the pressure to Anori here. Shady's looking to come in for the shields, but he's put himself in a bad situation as Contracts goes for the undertow kill. And Shady falls coming in for protection. A double kill for Jensen. An absolute oh, out. Go for broke. Gonna have to go right now. They didn't get it. Oh, he was denied vision on the immediate entry with a ward. Shady goes down to about 200 HP. Contract's very low, but looks like he'll live with no follow-up damage. Ryu can't get the charm. The orbit exception misses. The contract heals back up. And now they are running down. Arrow to zero, starting on the inhibitor turrets. Yeah, I mean, P1 doesn't want to dive in. Contracts is huge. Focus resolve, not gonna do much. He is on to arrow. Feathers are called back by Arrow as well. They're going over for Zig. Zig could go down very quickly, but it's going to be Contracts first if they can get a few more shots. There's the command protect in from Jensen. And these kills are just limping away. P1 doing a nice job, though, at not overstepping and getting themselves caught going for these kills. Trying to protect the base. How much does C9 want to try and preserve the shutout? Because that's pretty much all that's going to dictate this one. They're going pretty hard right here. Oh, Ray's got it in mind, but he's taking the turret for the team even with enough Minions, 22 seconds on Zig here. And Cloud9 looks like they're staying for the long haul, at least for a few more kills. If they can get one, they'll go for everything, if not already. Yeah, still have Sneaky's ultimate as a peel if in the map split yep. to get Sneaky more free time. I mean, this is the way you kind of use the split push cannon, so to speak, even though they're using him as a bot laner. He's fed enough now that it doesn't matter what lane he started in, the champ is going to do the same thing. I can't remember what team it was when they picked the cannon as well in the week one, but they're like, it's having another Ash in a side lane. You just clear waves, continuously go, and you have a chance to stun somebody. Well, they're using it quite well here, and Sneaky's first play a cannon in the NALCS is C9. Looks to stave off the losses they have been finding here in the summer split. Going on the second Nexus turret, P1 with the last ditch effort, just the body slam from Zig. Oh like dear. The slicing Maelstrom goes down, but so does Ryu immediately. Before all, before summoners, Zig's gonna be the next one that falls. The Nexus turret goes along the triple kill for Jensen, his two members of P1, Arrow and Anori, find solace on the base. And a perfect game one to Cloud9 over P1. Oh. New Rek'Sai? Definitely not. He's going Jungle Gracchus. Zig taking the Jace to the top side. Jungle Thrash. No, I'm just kidding. Jungle Support. Deep from Zag. Contracts as he goes. Oh, he can pull him back. Shot. Looks like he will yank him right back. That's going to be the Ruthless Predator. Abducts him towards the top side. Zig's going to go down after feeling so comfortable in his pressure. And they'll take on that ward. They'll try to try brush. So for two games, P1 on that Rift Herald. We'll see if this one can be put down in a advantageous position so they can get it to you. Ready really to stop. He may actually pop his ultimate to try and defend this right off the bat. Bot lane got double ping. Contracts is going to go down with the team. They want this. If Ray is going to get this much pressure on the top side, Meteos is low. Waiting for the body slam to go back in. He could be the first to tank the turret so Zig can get himself out. And it's going to be Zig taking the first few shots. Ray's still alive. The body slam now comes in. They both get away with 500 health combined. And the bot lane gank never happens as P1 backs off. Yeah, P1, when that dive happens top lane, uh, they know their bot lane has got to go away. Mozik. Took a lot of medium damage. Uh, but Rift Arrow pushed successful. The, yep. the net gold, since they did have to trade turrets since contracts on straight bot lane, is just the first. Bot lane pushing out nicely. Great. Oh. Down there for quite some time. Rooted onto Zig immediately. Was not expecting the initiation from Smoothie. And that's what you have to be careful of that Recon. Here comes play from P1. 
Oh, on to Jensen. Contracts is there, but he is not going to be able to save his mid laner. Smoothie just on the oh. edge can get the shield over. It's going to be in time. The second one is what saves perfectly. Videos. <laughs> Short jump by Contracts. Slams him into the wall. Can he make it over? The Blast Cone's already gone. And he can't really get anything to help. The team out goes down valiantly. Lantern really allowed C9 to put down a lot of extra damage. Here comes the Liam, though. Surfing her way down. Ray puts a stun on what he thinks will be the Ooh. most damage. Another shot on his dig. Almost gets the kill as Ryu takes the next heated turret shot. Dives right out as Rakan. They get this up to safety. One turret, two turrets, and they don't end up grabbing the bot. The roam from Ryu is already there. They want the full fight to grab more in the long haul. Contract bounces away, but he doesn't have them. Anybody to take with them. They throw Sneaky right into Ryu. They may be able to capitalize on the kill. And they do. But are the waves in position for this to work? P1 just lost. Quickly. And that pushes oh, on. I say that. And then he walks into the brush knowing the entire team is there. There it is. Fate's call is out. They're going to throw him over to the right. This is now going to leave Arrow by himself. Lantern! They throw a ward on the lantern. You can't click it if you do that. It would count as a move block. Some ridiculous things that spell does. Just make the, the sad mummy more sad. Not the airborne they wanted on the Jensen. Contracts able to get on. Whoa, he slams them together. Meteos and Shady bopping heads as Contracts tries to get himself out. Jensen in no man's land. Can he get the blast going? The last arrow over the wall dips down, takes him out. And that's going to be Jensen down. We'll see who else hits this one. Meteos still very low. As the ground was worked, Ryu able to get a few more Ultimate, kills. But you saw it completely whiffed right there. The Kalistian threat yeah. kind of toss each other around and spread out the fight. And it's an easy bear for them after that team fight win. So definitely a change in momentum here for P1. And get in? They're ready to test the initiation too. Contracts knows he can survive a certain amount of time. Sneaky has a way to get in and out of a bad situation. And if there is a re-engage, Jensen is ready for it with the ultimate. Petrifying Gaze almost ready. Contracts in a bad spot has the ulti, or rather passive, I should say. As they go in, that's going to be Shady going down. Flash was used by him to try to get in a good spot. And the rest of the team pulls himself into mid. Ray going forward with the flash, gets the initiation onto Ryu. That's the damage down, and now Zig can only fire from the back side. They don't even get the face turrets once again. Oh, quite a bit of damage from Zig. Maybe That's he wants to fight this. Maybe alt up. Got a good wave. Blade of the Rune King already. Oh no, he shot the off. minion. Ray with the one v one on Zig because Zig could not get his shot blast past the cannon minion. Ray doesn't get it hit on him. Kites it out just right, and C9 get the Baron. That is in Arrow's hands, just not finished yet. Ray taking quite a bit of damage. They put a lot of resources on him so far and will continue to, knowing if he is out of the fight, he cannot be the tank on the front line. Whoa, Meteos gets abducted towards the back. He tries to buy oh, what a combo. back in, and they get a huge hit coming in from Sneaky. On to the team of P1. Ziggs now running for his life as the team gets locked up by Jensen and the rest of the team. What a combo right there. Smoothie and Sneaky set it up. They get the quickness stun from Smoothie. Sneaky pops up there with the Feather Storm and he hits everyone. That's probably game unless Sid can pull off a miracle. What a turnaround to be neck and neck up to 30 minutes in the game. The last five minutes have been in the name of Cloud9. And now they're going to be looking for the Nexus turrets here, 11 to 7. There's four members down. Zig doing what he can is to peel them away from the Nexus turrets. But they have no care in the world for what he's doing as Jensen takes him down. And Cloud9 coming out with a dominating game one and a dominating game two ending. Take down P1, 2 to 0. For 30. Three minutes, I'd want to say. P1 was closer in control.